Today I'm in Yuan Ching Secondary School whereby they're holding their plastic recycling drive. Generally, this is a very good initiative. However, many people don't know what can be recycled and cannot be recycled. So let's go and see what they're doing right now. So these are all the different recyclables that Yuan Ching Secondary School has collected. Essentially, there are many things here, paper and plastic, such as this plastic bottle, which has been cleaned and hence recyclable. We are the responsible responsible the我们大多数回收的是塑料和纸comes to plastic, it's slightly trickier. There are certain things that are considered unrecyclable, such as things like disposable cutlery, especially when they have been used because they are oily and difficult to wash. However, my technology can actually recycle all these different dirty and contaminated plastic waste into a new construction material to build roads. How I became started in this is because my family background is actually from road construction for the past 40, close to 50 years. So being part of that, um, naturally, I wanted to do something that's similar to that but more innovative, which is why we started with this technology. Plastic waste is actually derived from crude oil, same as the road construction material, bitumen. So basically, when we link the two of them together, um, we realised that you know plastic waste, once we re-engineer it, we can actually create different things with it, such as bitumen, which all de are derived from the same thing. So this is how we started looking into it and developing the technology to recycle plastic waste uh, to be used for roads. The best solution would actually be to not use plastic waste at all. However, um, if we just think of uh, our everyday lives and we just think of the amount of plastic waste that we actually use, um, can we actually replace it with another material? The answer is for now, no. So the next best thing is really to find uh, an alternative such that we can recycle it properly, sustainably into another value-added product. And our technology actually comes in here and convert all this into another usable material such that we can use it to build roads for the community. My hope for the future is that um, one day, Singaporeans can actually be walking on the road and know that it has actually been created with the plastic that they properly recycled.